Okay, I want to talk about um, uh, Recur's uh, essay, The Task of Hermeneutics, which I introduced in the previous uh, video. The essay it focuses on Recur's uh, understanding of modern hermeneutics and what he considers to be the main problem of modern hermeneutics, which is the opposition between between explanation and understanding, which he considers to be a disastrous opposition. Uh, as to exactly what he means by explanation and understanding, I'll get into that later. But just briefly, I'll give you just kind of a brief uh, explanation. Uh, by understanding, he refers to when you understand a text, basically, you're understanding how the text what the text has to say about your life. What, is, what, what does the text mean? What, what does it have to contribute to understanding what it means to be a human being? When you're talking about explanation, you're talking about understanding basically kind of the formal structures of a text. Um, you know, you analyze the text, and you might explain all the bi binary oppositions and so on, but you never, you never apply any of that stuff, uh, underlying, the underlying structure of the text, too. You never get to the, to the question of, well, what does all this stuff mean? You just basically ignore the meaning or the existential meaning and focus on objective structures of, te of the text. That's just a brief, a brief uh, introduction to what he's talking about. But anyway, he thinks that the opposition between explanation and understanding is a disastrous opposition. And his attempt in this essay is to explain kind of how, it, how this opposition came about. And then he's going to offer his... Uh, suggestions as how to overcome it. In the course of this essay, he's going to discuss uh, four major uh, thinkers in the philosophical tradition. Uh, the Schleiermacher and Dilte in the 19th century. And then in the 20th century, he's going to be, he'll be discussing Heidegger and H.G. Gadamer. Um, so, in this essay, you will not only learn about Recur himself, but also you'll learn about four other major thinkers. And what's characteristic of Recur, as I mentioned in my previous uh, video, is that Recur de always develops his thought in dialogue with other thinkers. And this is a good example of what, he, of what I mean, because in this essay, he develops his own thought in in uh, dialogue with, with Schleiermacher, Dilte, Heidegger, and, and, and uh, Gadamer, H.G. Gadamer, all major uh, philosophers. Um, again, as just to repeat kind of what I talked about last time, by hermeneutics recur, he defines, as he calls it a working definition of hermeneutics, is uh, the theory of the operations of the understanding in relation to the interpretation of texts. And he says modern, the modern um, hermeneutics, let me just quote exactly what he says. Um, he says that the modern hermeneutics, the recent history of hermeneutics is dominated by two preoccupations. And these two preoccupations are what he calls deregionalization and radicalization. Deregionalization, he is referring to a movement from specific uh, hermeneutics being focused on specific areas of interpretation. And he has, what he has in mind are two different things. Uh, cl classical philology meaning the interpretation of the Roman and Greek texts, and then biblical uh, exegesis. 
um, because hermeneutics originally uh, was developed in, in terms of interpreting the Bible, which was the major text for a th about a thousand years in Western culture. So deregionalization is the movement uh, where you move away from focusing on these two different areas, each having their own rules of interpretation and their own specific things that you, you know, their specific rules, specific, specific ways of understanding each, each individually to understanding what they have in common. The general, more, the general character of interpreting any text. So that's what he calls deregionalization, moving from the specific regions to a general understanding of the text. And Ricoeur says that to, to carry out this process of deregionalization, you, you need to undergo another movement, which he calls radicalization, by which he means you subordinate the epistemological concerns to ontological concerns. Now that may seem kind of, well, what does that mean? It's very abstract. Epistemology has to do with knowing and knowledge, the way we know things. Ontology has to do with being, what, you know, what things exist. And what does it mean to, be in the, to exist as a human being in the world? Um, the focus um, in Schleiermacher and Dilte was epistemological. And in the 19th century, the paradigm for interpreting texts was science. So, uh, philo uh, philosophers dealing with the, the text, in hermeneutics wanted to make hermeneutics scientific, so they, their model was sci science, which is objective, objective understanding. So their model was, the focus was epistemological. Heidegger says that to, to move to deregionalize hermeneutics, you need to subordinate these epistemological concerns, uh, which you find in Schleiermacher and Diltai, to or Dilte, to ontological concerns. And here he has in mind Heidegger and Gadamer, and their focus is now not so much on understanding as a mode of knowledge, but as a mode of being and relating to beings. So that's just, so I'm going to stop at this point and then I will develop that in the next uh, video. But basically in this little uh, video, my main focus is basically to uh, explain uh, recurs uh, concern in this essay, which is to overcome the opposition between explanation, understanding, and understanding, and also to explain what he's going to do in the rest of the essay. The first one is going to deal with deregionalization of hermeneutics. That'll deal with we'll deal with Schleiermacher and Dilte, and then with the radicalization of hermeneutics which will deal with ontological concerns of Heidegger and H.G. Gadamer. And in the next video, I will uh, talk about that. I'll stop at this point.